Hi, I'm Maki Arai. I'm at a place about a 10 minute walk from the east exit of Etsu Station in Tokyo. This area has many upscale homes as well as universities and educational institutions. This time I'll be visiting a small museum here that's said to be the only one of its kind in Japan. Right now, I'm at a shop dealing in 19th century antiques. And in fact, on the second floor of this building is a museum that only the most avid art lovers know about. I'm here with Mitsuo Kaji, the chief curator of this museum. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Would you tell us about this museum? This is a museum that showcases pieces I collected uh, centering on Art Nouveau in the late 19th century. This is big, isn't it? There are plenty of big paintings, but with enamel ones, this is about the biggest. That's because when painted, they're put into kilns and baked several times to make them. And the color is beautiful, isn't it? the reds and greens. This was made about a hundred years ago. As long as it doesn't get cracked, what was made at the time is preserved in the exact same condition. The colors are so vivid, almost as if it was made yesterday. That's the attraction of enamel. The museum opened in 2018 and specializes in enamel art. It showcases works that Mr. Kaji has collected for over 40 years. They include paintings, jewelry, and small accessory boxes. After opening the museum, they received a letter of appreciation from the mayor of Limoges in France, one of the historical production regions of this craft. A piece that drew Mr. Kaji into the world of enamel art was this. This was in the corner of an antique shop, covered in dust. When I brushed away the dust, this beautiful figure of a woman appeared. That was what sparked the idea for me to design jewelry of my own using enamel. Since that chance encounter, Mr. Kaji has been creating pieces together with enamel artists in France. What's the attraction of enamel for you? I feel enamel is like precious stones. Red is ruby, blue is sapphire, and green emerald. I'm drawn to a beauty that's similar to precious stones. Another point is that the original art of these pieces, the paintings, are actually very big. These are made into small postcard sizes. You can hold them in your hand and appreciate them. That's one of the attractions for me. This is a very unique museum where you can see emo art and it's definitely worth a visit.